Mr. Speaker, to date, out of the total amount raised, about 2.5 billion has been used to reprovile the debt and 1.1 billion used to finance the budget. We will continue to use the remaining amount to reprofile the debt term maturing bill, the short term maturing bills. Mr. Speaker, we shall also continue with our reprofiling, and this is not the end of it. Mr. Speaker, the pre-profiling exercise has been extremely successful. Reprofiling will be debt stock neutral. In other words, we will borrow these billions without adding to Ghana's debt stock. Although in the initial instance, the gross public debt increases because we have built up assets in cash in our books, we will use that to swap the maturities as they come. Contrary to the claims of financial loss, the expected savings from this transaction in respect of interest costs is estimated at 612 million Ghana cities in 2017. This clearly shows the financial savings we have accrued to government. In other words, we borrowed not to increase our debt stock, but to rather decrease the cost of servicing the interest of pre-existing debts. Mr. Speaker, in executing this transaction, we have seen a gradual decline in interest rates, and that accounts for the savings that we are going to gain. Mr. Speaker, permit me to announce, happily of course, that as a result of this reprofiling, our yield curve, which defines the cost of funds against the tenor of the debt, is on the right trajectory. Currently, the 91 Treasury bill rate has trended downwards to about 12.39% as a result of this transaction. This is largely reflecting the reprofiling process, by which we have been able to ease the pressure on the short end of the maturity spectrum.